breaking news from Washington. Our Eamon Javers is on Capitol Hill. Eamon? Hey, Scott, that's right. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan, is up here on Capitol Hill right now. He's meeting with a group of centrist Democrats uh, here in the Capitol building. But as he pulled in just a couple of minutes ago, a couple of reporters and I had a chance to ask him a couple questions. Take a listen to that exchange. I case 20 percent higher capital requirements under uh, federal I, I, I just read it this morning, and I hope the regulars are very thoughtful about what they do. And so, uh, but we'll see when they do it. So. Jamie, are you going to run for president? I think I think the spokesman for J.B. Borey said I have no intention of doing that. No intention. This year or 2024 or ever? Well, I never say never to anything, but no intention. What are you going to tell the House Democrats today? Well, I'm going to talk to them about the subjects that are on their mind. So, what subjects what? are on your mind? Whatever is on their mind. They invited me to come talk to them. I'm thrilled to doing it. And so, are you going to settle the Jeffrey Epstein lawsuits? I'm not going to talk about litigation here. Do you have a message for them on the state of the banking system in the U.S. economy after yeah. the events of the last several months? Yeah, I think we've been quite clear. I think it's actually quite strong, and there's some very isolated events out there, uh, and hopefully that's over. Will JP Morgan have to buy and more banks? I, I doubt it. Uh, and I think that what now is it, it relates to what the economy does much more than the banking system does. Who are you with? Bloomberg. Bloomberg. What do you think the Fed's going to do next week? I have no idea. How about the uh, Coinbase SEC lawsuit today? Do you think that was a good idea to crack down on crypto? Hey guys, I just landed from Asia, and I just saw that lawsuit. So, uh, All right, thank you, right. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. So, Scott you, Scott, you heard the man there. He'd just gotten off a plane from Asia. We fired a lot of questions at him there in a relatively short space of time, about 50 yards of sidewalk right over here. Uh, but clearly, he did not want to say what exactly he's going to be talking to the House Democrats here about today. Obviously, if you're up here on Capitol Hill in a political context, people are going to ask you political questions. He's been brushing aside this question about whether or not he wants to run for higher office, whether he wants to run for the presidency. You heard him there quoting the spokesperson for J.P. Morgan saying he has no intention of running for president. And of course, that raises the question of whether he would run under any circumstances. And boy, it would be difficult to imagine, Scott, uh, a Wall Street CEO in a populist era getting success and traction on a campaign trail out there in, in 2024. But stranger things have happened, as we've seen. So uh, you've got to keep your eye on this one, Scott. And we're up here. Yeah. And we're going to see if we can talk to him on the way out as well. Yeah, closely followed meeting, uh, no doubt. And it was Diamond himself a week or so ago was the one who opened the door to potentially serving his country. I think is the way that he put it, uh, Eamon. So we'll follow this today. Thank you for that. Eamon right. Javers down in Washington, D.C.